talk for a little bit about the different types of metals you'll find in the shop. We have many interesting things that you can make sculpture out of here from old bicycle parts to old vacuum parts, pieces of copper, all the way to structural steel components like square tube, flat bar, or round rod. It's important to be aware of the different types of steel that we have because some, when you weld, will, will create a fume or, a, or a smoke that you don't want to inhale. And so I want to just point out a few of those characteristics. The interesting pieces of scrap that you'll find, particularly uh, readily available in the corner of fun over, over here, uh, are almost always things that you'll find in dumpsters, things that you'll find here, going to be covered with some sort of rust resistant material like chrome or zinc or they'll be made out of a different material altogether like copper. These materials are materials that you don't want to use in the welding shop. You don't want to heat to a point where they'll melt or to a point where they'll fume. The other materials are structural materials you can use in all the areas of the shop. These can be drilled, lashed, tied, painted, or welded. One of the metals that you'll find frequently in dumpsters or in our corner of fun is zinc coated steel. You can tell zinc coating by its silver appearance. It's not a shiny silver, but a fairly dull silver. It often looks almost crystalline on its surface texture. And it's a great rust proofing for steel. The downside is that if you cut it with a torch or heat it up with a torch, it will produce zinc fumes. And zinc fumes can be toxic. A clear sign of zinc is if you cut the material with a torch here, you'll notice that there's a little bit of white, almost it looks almost powdery, right around the area of the cut. If you see that when you're cutting, you know that it's a zinc coated material and you know that you should stop using heat processes on this. You can still cut it with uh, cutting implements, saws, uh, our metal cutoff saw, but you don't want to cut it or heat it with the torch. Other metals that you'll find in the corner of fun like copper or silver, aluminum, can be used mechanically. You can drill or cut them but if you try to use our torch or welders on them, they'll melt and won't fuse. So with these materials, the softer materials, you want to just use mechanical methods like drilling or lashing. And if you need to attach them to other components, you can use weldments by welding something with mild steel and then attaching them with bolts or lashing to the softer steels. I want to point out the appearance of mild steel here is usually blackish, somewhat mottled, not silver. You'll notice on most of the steel that there will be small areas of rust and that's a good sign that it's mild steel that's ready for welding and or bending or any of our heat processes. The final material that I want to talk about that you want to avoid in the welding shop is painted material. It's very difficult to tell what's in any painted surface, and so that's something that you don't want to inhale when it's fuming. So with this, again, we revert to mechanical processes, cutting, drilling, lashing. As always, if you make a mess like this while looking for material, you want to try to clean it up. So remember, always be knowing.